The Round Rock community is mourning the loss of a teacher and coach. Police say Sean Kelly was hit by a vehicle Friday night and killed. For more on that, we join Tanya Ortega. She's live from Stony Point High School. Tanya. Well, Amanda, students and staff are going to be coming back to school today knowing that one of their own has died over the weekend and the person responsible is still on the run. This happened on Friday around 11 o'clock at night. Police say it was at the intersection of South Mays and West Main Street. 43-year-old Sean Kelly was walking through the intersection when he was hit. According to police, he was struck by a silver truck and the driver left the scene. No other info on any suspects, but Kelly was pronounced dead on scene. Round Rock ISD said he was a coach and inclusion teacher here at Stony Point. In a statement, the district says, quote, we extend our heartfelt sympathy to his family and friends and ask our students, parents, staff, and community members to do the same. Please keep your thoughts and prayers with Sean's family during this difficult time, end quote. They are going to be having counseling services here for the next week for students and staff uh, who may need a little bit of help getting through this hard time. And police are actually asking for people who may have seen what happened or have any information to give them a call as they try to find who the person was driving that silver truck. We're going to send it back to you. Tanya Ortega and Round Rock. Tanya, thank you. Three people are dead after a crash near Fredericksburg. It happened on Saturday on Highway 290 near Ranch Road 1376. DPS says 17-year-old Destiny Knatzer lost control of her car and hit a pickup, which then hit an SUV before swerving into a tree. 58-year-old Keith Hoover and 61-year-old Don Corley Jr., who were in the SUV, were killed, as well as a 15-year-old from Fredericksburg who was a passenger in the car with Knatzer. The driver of the truck and four others in that SUV were all taken to the hospital. Authorities are still trying to figure out if speed, distracted driving, or the weather over the weekend played a role in the wreck. The former police officer who shot and killed a naked teenager back in February reaches a settlement with the city of Austin. Joffrey Freeman has agreed to walk away from the Austin Police Department and any appeals in exchange for $35,000. Earlier this year, he shot and killed 17-year-old David Joseph. Police say the teen, who was unarmed, charged at Freeman despite repeated requests to stop. The Travis County Grand Jury cleared the officer of any wrongdoing, saying his actions were justified. The 12-year APD veteran was still filed, so he appealed. The arbitration for Freeman's appeal was set to begin today until the settlement was announced Friday. An attorney for the Joseph family says their civil suit against the city and Freeman is still making its way through the legal system. Austin police have honored a 9-year-old boy for saving his sister's life after the family dog attacked her. Leland Gonzalez was presented with a certificate of bravery by several officers on Friday. Last month, the family's pit bull attacked his sister, Jasmine. She's 10. Leland says he grabbed a crutch and hit the dog several times. He was able to get his sister outside and told a neighbor to call 911. Shortly after police arrived, the dog attacked again. Officers shot and killed the dog. Police say if it wasn't for his quick thinking and bravery, his sister may not be alive today. I was scared. Um, I had jelly legs. Um, I, I, my mind just went blank. I'm really grateful. I thank God every day that uh, it turned out the way it did. Uh, I know it could have turned out a lot worse. Um, I see it every day in the, in the news. Kids get attacked by dogs. People get attacked by dogs, especially my daughter was so young and so small. And I'm really grateful that she's able here to get into the ward with my son right now. So, you know, it worked out for the best. Jasmine, by the way, is still healing from her injuries, but she's doing well. And as a matter of fact, today she is celebrating her 11th birthday. New this morning, President-elect Donald Trump has appointed former campaign rival Ben Carson as secretary of the Department of Housing and Urban Development. The announcement comes as Trump continues a series of interviews and meetings with possible cabinet appointees. In a statement, Trump said he was thrilled to nominate Carson and described the retired neurosurgeon as brilliant and passionate about strengthening communities and families in those communities.